Hello everybody, MegaPyroMan here, and I'm going to show you how to play NES games on your computer, such as the videos I have up on my channel of Metal Gear. I'm going to show you how I did those. Now, the first game that I wanted to play on my computer and get videos of was the original Mega Man. And I found this program over here called FCEUX, which is an emulator for your computer. Double click this and it opens up right here. Now, originally with this emulator, what it does is it transforms your computer basically into a NES system through this program. And originally when you start it up, you have nothing to do. You have no games. The moment you can get a game since your computer is not a NES and you can't just put a cartridge in it, you have to download a ROM. Now you can get FCEUX to simply go to Google and type in FCEUX. And there you go. It's got its own website and it's everything good to go you can go and download it and look up all the other different stuff about it and what have you not really going to go into this because all I did was really go over here and download the one that I needed for my system make sure you download the correct one though because we get the wrong one um, then it won't work so like I said before now that you have FCEUX you need a ROM now the first game that I wanted to play on um, my computer and get some video of was the original Mega Man. Unfortunately, I haven't got any video of that app up yet, but I will show you where I found my ROMs for that. I simply, once again, went over to the godsend, that is Google, typed in Mega Man ROM. Click on the first one, it should be a Yahoo Answers. This guy's saying that he's looking for ROMs, don't worry about the first um, question, just scroll down to the best answer. And right here is the first one you want to click on to. GetYourROM.com is where I got all my ROMs from. Simply go across here and click on whatever letter that the game you're looking for begins with. And there you go. You can now download the ROMs from these different places and what not. See if I can find... Mega Man on here. Da, 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 da. M A. Yeah, yeah, Mega Man. Yay. Anyway, the only bad thing about this thing is the fact that you can only download. You can't download the games individually. If you want to download them, you have to download them all as one. Like when I downloaded the original Mega Man ROM, I downloaded all of the ROMs that are on here for M. Now, most people think that's a bad thing, but it's actually not. The NES ROMs take up so little space, it is ridiculous, which is the reason why the people who run this site only allow you to download the entire section, because it's so small, it would be an idiotic pain to break them off into the different sections. So once you've got your ROM or ROMs ready to go, simply go back to FCEUX. Let me do this. Let me put this on full screen. Go to File, Open. Go to wherever you saved your ROMs at. I keep mine in their own little folder called ROM. Start up MegaMan.NES. It's a um, NES ROM if it ends with NES. Now we've got Mega Man right here. This is the game. If you press Start, got the game right here. Everything good to go. Now I'm going to show you how to record your gameplay with this. After you have loaded this up, go to File and Record Movie. Pretty simple. Name it something. I'm going to name this Mega Man Stuff. I'm not going to use it. And the first video of a series, if you're making this a series, you want to have it record from start. I'll talk about doing series of more than just one Mega Man video, or not Mega Man, more than one video on this program later on. Click OK. And now the record symbol and it restarted the game for you. Just simply press start again. Report to load. And let's do a little bit of Cutman's level. Not going to actually play too much. Just really going to show you what you can do for this. Let me unmute it so we get some sound in here. That classic Mega Man sound. Here we go. I don't know if you can hear that. Might be a little messed up because I have it in full screen. Works better. Minimize screen. So you have your normal controls, F has him jump, you can always customize all your controls, D has him shoot, and arrow keys let him allow him to move. Do a little bit of this, 
Dun, 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 don't really care, don't really care. Those guys are such freaking jerks. They smile at you, too. Okay, that's enough. That's far. No oh, crap. We get to a point where he's not going to die. Ah, come on. Wasting my time, you annoying flying thing. There we go. Alright. Now that this is good, we can simply go to File and go to Stop Moving. And that saves everything you just recorded. Once again, in order to move that right now, what you just played and what you just saved, that is not a file you can use in anything besides FCUX. You'll have to do something special to change that to use it later on. And once again, I will show you that later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to record video from a save state. Right here at this time period, if I simply go to this, go to save state as, I can save all of my progress in the game right now since Mega Man doesn't have a save system. Or if it does, I don't know about it. You can save it as a save state, and then once you save it, go to file and go to load state. Let's just pick one of these at random here, elect man. And it has saved the state of me beating these different stages. Now, once you load your save state, how do you record the video from there? It's a little bit different from what you did before. You go to record movie as before, but the big thing that you want to change is this, record from. You do not want it to be recorded from start. That will completely restart the ROM. You want to go down and either pick a specific save state, or just do the easiest thing that I like to do is record from now, and then click OK. That, quite literally, allows you to record from now. As you can see, it's recording. I want to do a few seconds on Bomb Man's thing, and then I'll show you how to change it from an FCEUX movie to an AIV file movie. Let's kill you. Let's kill you. Let's kill. Oh, oh, he hit me. Oh, crap. Let's kill you, and let's kill you. And then finally, let's kill you. Okay, now that we've killed and murdered some robots, go back up to file and go to stop movie. Fantastic. Now, how do we take what we just saved and make that into an AIV which we can use? Well, once again, go to File, go to Replay Movie, and pick the movie that you want. It'll automatically have the last movie that you recorded. So we're just going to use this since it's the it's just going to use this right here as my example. You can click down on this button, of course, pick Mega Man Stuff, which was the original one that I showed you before without the um, save state. But let's just stick with Stuff too, and then let's push OK. What you quickly want to do after that is go to File to pause it. Then go down to the obvious Record AIV. You can also go down to Record WAV, but that only records the audio of anything that's happened throughout the game so far. AIV records both audio and video. So we'll click on that, put it in as whatever you want to have it saved as. I'm just going to have it saved as the Mega Man stuff too. And click save. And you want to keep it at file frames compressed. That's the best thing that I have found so far for it to work. You can mess around with the other settings as you want in your own time, but this is the one that I like to use. And then just click OK. As it goes on from there, I want to mute this now because it kind of lags a little bit as it records to AIV, which is fine. If it's lagging, that is perfectly OK. When you finally finish this video up and ready to post it, all of that lag will be gone. It's just when it's recording it. It also messes up some audio when it's recording an AIV, but everything will be perfectly fine and dandy once we're done. So let's just watch this until our little play triangle down there in the lower left-hand corner goes away, which lets us know that we're done. It'll keep recording AIV for the entire time until you tell it to stop. Now that it's done, let's go to File, Stop AIV. The AIV recording has ended. Now we are done with FCEUX. That is how you record gameplay with that. What I like to do with that is I would then go over to Movie Maker, put this open, go to Videos, go over to my specific Mega Man 
area. Let's see, where do I have that saved at? I think I had that saved in my documents. Um, here we go, Mega Man, open this. Now this video will be a little bit laggy, just like the other one. When it recorded, it'll be kind of laggy and off at certain points, which is perfectly okay. Just drag this down into this area and go to publish to this computer, publish it as whatever you want to call it, Mega. I don't care. Click next and click publish. Give it some a little bit of time. Shouldn't take that long since it's only a few seconds. Wait for this. I'll probably speed this up. And yeah, there we go. And then just exit out of this. Get rid of this. And then bring back your final, which is Mega Man Stuff 2. No? That was the wrong video. Here we go. Go to the correct spot. I'm sorry about that. Go to the correct spot I have in my videos, which for some reason I can't find. Come here, don't fail me now. Here we go. Videos. And whatever folder you have it saved in. Where did I save that? This is the problem I'm having. I have so much stuff on here, I don't know where I saved my stuff. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now that we have that imported, bring it back over here. And now, you play it, everything should be perfect and fine exactly the way you played it before. There shouldn't be any pauses, there shouldn't be any mess ups with the sound, everything should be on tack, leaving you open to add your commentary down here later on. And that is how you play a NES game on your computer using the emulator and how you record with it. This has been Mega Pie Man for a Pie Man tutorial, and uh, please check out my channel, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and that's Audacity right there, I'll probably do a tutorial with that later on, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye!